Hi everybody, welcome to our laser cut tutorial. As you can see here, I have the laser cut template all set out and ready to go. We're going to teach you how to set it up today. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that everything is on the C plane. That's that bottom working plane where the grid is. So if we go into perspective view, you can see that this line that I have selected is hovering above the rest. So we want to project to C plane with the command project to C plane. Hit enter, delete input objects, click yes. And if we go back in perspective view, our lines put down on top. The second thing you always want to do with your files is the command cell dupe. That's going to select all duplicates, and again, it's that same line that we had hovering above the rest, and delete it. So now we're ready to start changing our layers. So the next thing we'll do is set our inside cuts and outside cuts. The inside cuts are going to be cut first because they generally drop down. So you select the ones that you want to cut out from the inside of your object. Go over to the inside cuts option, right click, change object layer. And now these lines are inside cuts. The next thing to do is to select our outside cut, which is this orange layer. Go to our outside cuts, right click, change object layer. And now those are ready to go. So if we're doing etching, which on this project we want to, you need to go through and select the different kinds of etches you want to do. There are two kinds of etches, vector etches and raster etches. Vector etches are just simply lines and curves that cut across the field that you're working on, and raster etches are anything that's filled in. To make a raster etch layer, you'll select the closed curves that you have and type in the command hatch and hit enter, and then you'll scroll down until you can find the solid layer, and you hit OK, and then you delete the line that surrounds it. And then we want to switch this to a raster etch layer. So we'll go over to our medium raster etch and hit change object layer. Now to get our vector etches, we can select any curves we want to be a vector etch. And there are several different kinds, shallow, medium, and deep. And do the same thing, change object layer. Once you have that, you can see I have this point floating around. Points mess up the laser, and it doesn't really know how to read them. So go through and delete any loose points that you might have. And the last thing we're going to look at is text. So for text, if you want it to be an outlined text, you select it, and you can click this little icon, explode, or you can type explode. And that turns it into a group of lines. The next thing to do with that is to put it on the vector etch layer that you want it on. We'll make it a shallow vector etch. And there we go. There's two kinds of things you can do with the raster etches. The most common way to handle a raster etch for text is to do the same thing, explode it, and then type hatch solid, and then you can delete the outline, and then change this hatch to whatever raster layer you want it on. We'll do a deep raster edge.
now that this is all set up, it's important for the submissions that all the loose layers that you have that you might have brought in are deleted, as we are only accepting files that only have the laser bed layers on them. So you can select them and hit delete. It'll give you a warning if there's any lines or anything left on those layers. So if there are, you can go through and find them and change them to the appropriate layer. Hit yes. Now that those are gone, we're ready to move it into our laser bed. So in the template, there's all these little boxes, and those represent the 18 by 32 rectangle that our laser beds are sized to. You'll see there's a dotted line and a solid line. You want to keep your work inside of the dotted line. So anywhere is good, depending on the size of what you're cutting and how you want to optimize the space. It's usually best to put it in the top left corner. So we'll move it to that, and our laser file is ready to go.